Hello guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is Subgraba Designs episode 12 and today we are starting off with Hawk Mark 2 made by Kyle. So if you'll notice there is a parachute, solar fuel booster, separatron, and we actually start off with the solar fuel booster here. So the jet engines aren't activated until the second stage. So press spacebar. Uh, no real need to throttle up but I do it anyway. It's just a thing, but you're going to eventually throttle up for the second stage. So it's sort of a good thing to do it at the start. Easy to lift off. The smoggy bays go away, as what everyone calls it. Everyone says I mispronounce it. It's always funny. And yeah, so this takes a while to uh, actually use up all the fuel. Let's check it. Alright, almost done. Do it, do it, do it. Almost there. And... 10, 9, 8, 2, <laughs> miscounted, just kidding. Obviously I did that deliberately, the miscounting type of thing. And it is slightly uncontrollable for a bit because you have to think about it. If you have a look at the design itself, um, with the solar fuel booster, there's an increased amount of mass at the bottom, so more weight down here. And that's, that's one reason why uh, Kyle actually put this jet fuel tank here uh, with a fuselage just to actually balance the mass out. And yeah, that actually works, surprisingly. Um, I've made designs similar to this, but they always end up failing because of the, the mass difference and of course the, the thrust as well. But this design does work. Yes, it works. How It does go to a high altitude. Um, not for long because if you have a, have a look the Ram A intake here isn't actually duplicated and you usually know if you actually hover your mouse over it you'd see a whole bunch like it's some sort of weird lighting thing uh, I don't know how to explain it you just have to see it for yourself <laughs> um, so yeah pretend we are in an emergency which we will be pretty soon and uh, we'll be back and I'll show you what the emergency thing is Alright, so we are almost there to our little destination here. Uh, the, well, I'm going to make a little emergency situation if I can do it correctly. We are going too fast. Oh, it's very green here. Haven't been here for a long time. Let's try and like crash. Oh no, shit. Space bar. There we go. Alright, you guys must have missed that. Uh, there was a little decoupler there, which essentially decouples uh, the cockpit. Yeah, we didn't survive. There's a parachute too. <laughs> Next design. Alrighty, so this design is by, I'm going to mispronounce this, Yo Beef Jerky. Actually, no, I think I got it right. And it is called Utilitary Tank Mark 7. So if we have a little a close look here, you see a whole bunch of wheels, um, battery banks, and a whole bunch of RCS thrusters and whatnot. And of course, we have the Cumulotron there. So let's extend that, just for the looks. Another one another one all good so in the description he has said that it is a fast and strong vehicle um, not necessarily I wouldn't say it's necessarily strong because I've failed several times here yeah um, just on that little steep hill there I've ended up smashing this thing quite a few times but I guess it's because of me using cheats and you will see what the cheats are for uh, you guys should do this. Turn RCS on if you do have this design. Uh, go to the docking mode, RCS on, make sure you turn SAS, and this thing can increase to a speed of above 60 meters per second. So pretty fast, yes, I might say, especially for an RCS slash wheel powered vehicle. Even though it's a tank, tanks are usually slow, but anyway. You guys get the points. Look how fast it's going. 56. 60 meters per second. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, lucky there. Almost crashed. And, oh, what's going to happen? Watch this. Bang! We're in the air. <laughs> it flies! Yes, a tank tanks fly, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good design. I'm going to do that again. Alrighty, guys. So, this is round two. And let's see how high we can go with this design. Oh, it's super fast. 60. Oh, we've lost the wheels. Oh, no. No, no, that's what happens when you go above 60 meters per second. We've lost the wheels. Uh, that was out of failure. Uh, let's try that again. 
<laughs> after this smash. Getting up close, and we are approaching maximum speed. Back, what? Oh, okay. Alright, there's a little hill there. Oh, there we go. It flies. <laughs> it does. And the next design also flies. Okay, so this design is Land Sailor by, let me check, Pab45, so P-A-B-45. Hmm, interesting name. Anyway guys, so let's try this thing out. Throttle up, and guess what? It goes the opposite way. <laughs> yep, did not expect that myself. Anyway, so he advises us to make sure to throttle under 75% okay so 75% is like around here or something there we go that's like 75% I think now of course I've already tried out this design it is quite fun to play around with um, and you can get it into the air surprisingly well it does have a jet engine so I guess it's not surprising is it and here we go um, I advise you guys to throttle up here if you want to start flying turn off um, SAS just temporarily and try to stabilize it Okay, this thing obviously doesn't have any wings, so I'm zooming in here. A uh, few solar panels, small gear bays, and um, a fuselage there. That's pretty much it. It's all a bunch of basic stuff, and if you're wondering what this thing here is, uh, just for looks, really. Yep, just for looks. And it works! Oh, we're in the air, we're flying. <laughs> yeah, so with this design, I if you look all the way down there, I'm not too sure if you can see, you probably can't see it, but... I took this design all the way down to that hill and it was very unfortunate. I tried to climb up the hill with this thing on the ground, tried to climb up, immediately smashed, just got demolished. It's unfortunate. But um, before we end this episode, I'm going to actually try to land this thing. Okay, so please note, no wings on this design other than the, uh, the winglet there. But really, that ain't going to help. Nope. Other than just balancing the, the design here. Okay, okay, here we go. This is going to be risky. Alright, and some of you are like, Oh, what are you doing? Oh, great. You know what? There should be a parachute on this thing. Alright, we have to lift up. Nope, uh, nope. No. We, we died. Okay, that's it. I'm dead. That was exciting. I think I uh, misunderestimated a few things here and there. Mm, my bad. And we are back. And look how close we are to the mountains, guys. Look at this. Um, I managed to get this thing in a very stable position. I haven't actually needed to adjust anything. It's going by itself. You know whether or not I'm actually controlling it on the bottom left hand corner, but I'm not doing anything right now. It's all on the SAS, so well done. Props to the SAS. So I think it's best to actually slow down here before we cr do actually crash into a mountain. And I am now officially controlling the design. So, throttle down a little bit. We'll try and get this to land. Mm, should we try and land on the mountain? Okay, let's try to do that. Oh, let's try. Okay. So, first off, change the angle to suit the mountain. Whatever position the mountain is in, that's what we will be into. Now, we've just lost the design. Officially, we've lost it. No, it's back. Okay, we're good. We're good. A little bit hard to control. Just a little bit. Okay, so if we can like throttle up to a point where we don't accelerate downwards, that would be great. Okay, uh, now we are... Okay, we're stabilized. Yeah, we're stabilized now. Okay. Throttle down and point that way. So, okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. I okay, we should be going forward now at a very slow pace, but... The steadier the better. Okay, so I think this is the whole tallest mountain. Um, yeah, so down there is the designs that. Well, I tried this design down there and it all failed. <laughs> that wasn't. That didn't end very well. Up, oh, throttle up a little bit. Actually, I really don't care if we land straight on top of the mountain. Even if we just like hit the side and I somehow throttle up. Okay, that was a bad move just then. Okay, no, we're gone. We're gone. Alright, where, where is it? There it is. What a failure. Look at that. <laughs> we're, no! We're falling down. <laughs> okay, that didn't end well. All right. Oh, then you know why? Look at the small gear bays. I forgot to extend them. Oh, I failed again. We're going to crash again. There we go. Bang. <laughs> Good thing there isn't any Kerbal on board. That's why you should always have, like, drones and stuff doing... Doing the dirty work, yeah. 
But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. I'd like to thank all the subscribers who submitted their designs. So they are Pab45. I have, I really do hope I pronounced that correctly, even though it's so simple. Kyle, I know I got that one right. And Yo Beef Jerky. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, see you next time.